Now, the guest, the next speaker really is a pleasure to introduce. I met him a couple of years back when he was the first Australian MP to come across to Britain to visit Julian Assange in Belmarsh. We met with British parliamentarians at that time. But since that visit, he has been central to the transformation of Australian politics on the question of Julian Assange, campaigning relentlessly until there is not only cross-party support for Julian Assange, but the whole of the Australian Parliament saying what the world knows to be true, and that is enough is enough in the case of Julian Assange. Please give a huge London welcome to Andrew Wilkie MP. Who remembers collateral murder? Who can forget that grainy black and white image of an American attack helicopter gunning down innocent Iraqis and Reuters journalists? Who can remember that? And we have this madness that the man who told the truth, who provided hard evidence of US war crimes, he's the one in front of a court. It should have been the pilots of that helicopter. But some common sense has broken out. At least now the Australian Parliament has finally voted. The Australian Prime Minister has finally stood up and given a clear, strong signal to the Americans that enough is enough. Regardless of what you think of Julian, this matter must be brought to an end. The extradition must be dropped. The charges must be dropped. He must be busted out of Belmarsh. He must be allowed to be reunited with his family. Because Julian Assange is the hero here, not the villain.